Throughout Flint, there is a surplus of food pantries and soup kitchens, yet an absence of food markets, creating what is known as a food desert. Many local organizations have been established to combat this issue, and many of these have land ownership, if not a role, on our site. Through examining these precedented efforts, we concluded that there are six major aspects of nutrition, each of which are addressed to varying degrees in each of the existing programs. We asked Flint experts for their insight on nutrition and food access efforts in Flint. I'm Rick Sadler, I'm an assistant professor in the Division of Public Health at Michigan State University. Flint's food issues, I would say, grow out of decades of disinvestment, so it's not just the change in the retail environment, but the fact that uh, there's been a huge population decline, uh, there's uh, been a huge decline in employment opportunities, and so generally speaking, there's a lot less demand for food. grocery store reinvestment campaign that the Chamber of Commerce is heading up and there's a couple of pastors who are both looking at opening new grocery stores. Uh, MSU Extension has a healthy corner store initiative that will put healthy foods in existing stores and then also uh, create an educational component. There's a Flint Fresh Mobile Market that has been making the rounds around neighborhoods that lack access to healthy food. The local food movement has been growing, so Edible Flint is the local food network for the community. They sell hundreds of garden kits every year and help people start gardens. There's, there's plans now to open a food hub in the community as well, and so building on uh, work similar to what the Flint Food Works has been doing, the incubator kitchen at the farmer's market, uh, this food hub will be an aggregation facility and a distribution facility for local food. Um, growers and distributors in the community. I think that they're all necessary but in sufficient conditions, mm -hmm. so each of them plays an important role and for some people uh, any one of these might be a sufficient condition, but to fix the whole problem, I mean I think there's broader societal issues. fundamental reworking of the way that we treat cities, create neighborhoods that are mixed income, mixed density, like they create opportunities for people to, to live in them regardless of their life stage, their economic stage. From what we've learned, we set four goals for our spatial intervention, that we would address Flint's need for a market space, convenient nutrition, education on nutrition, and a community kitchen space. As part of our design process, we hosted a cook-off in Flint to gauge the public opinion to our design goals. to address Flint's nutrition and food access needs and bring the community together.